So it's a pleasure to have y'all here, but before we get out of here, I hope y'all like the interview. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, it's dope. Yeah, like that, not that. Like, 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 you already know, Heritage Hip Hop, but before you get it for Heritage Hip Hop, by far, does the best interviews. Okay. If you don't know, yeah. you better ask somebody. Yeah. That's right. You're gonna get them questions, bro. Right. Yeah, or you definitely gonna get them questions if you come here. For real. He gonna smack you across the face with them questions, for real. <laughs> All right. So before we get into like the last question or questions, which is probably like two or three, okay. I want to give a testimony. So everybody out there always know that Heritage Hip Hop was born from my desire to want to be with Ralph McDaniels. Well, and he I never mean. answered my emails at yeah. the end of the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> VideoMusicBoss at Hotmail.com. <laughs> never ever answered <laughs> my emails. So it drifted, you know what I'm saying? And I got to meet two of the most prolific people ever in my life who touched me as a man and musically, which was Big Snuff RP and Govmatic RP, right? Mm-hmm. Then getting to know my partners and my friends and everything, Heritage Hip Hop came about. But I was also trying to be a part of Goodfellas TV. And we threw an event at East Orange YMCA, mm. DJ oh, Poppy. Word. Wow. And, DJ Poppy. And, and we, we invited like 13 MCs. Yes, And did. no one came except nope. for Frank, one from, Frank and that was Cash. Frank Castle. Frank Castle. Oh, Frank Castle. 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 One of our main feature artists in Out the Mud Music Group. Okay. So everybody watching, when it says it goes deep in this family, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not lying here. Yeah, this is history that. and respect. Word. So for believing in me enough to try to put a TV component into Goodfellas TV yeah. and seeing where I am now, being able to say thank you on camera and to salute you, yeah. it's been a pleasure, gentlemen. And I oh, respect you. Well, You've been around respect. with us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That, that kind of sums up everything we'll be talking about. Right. Like what, whatever your uh your niche in the game whatever it is that you want to do like i said you start with the right team with the right family and you know like i said you go on the path it'll take you where you gotta go absolutely facts so here we go uh before we um close out shout out to dab the photographer dab at under uh, dab under, what, underscore aep d-a-v underscore aep and he also does movie reviews so if yeah. you want word, to talk word. with somebody or have a future we're gonna maybe get a future show yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's that, gonna be coming up because now the critic um application is, is open again oh for real? do it oh word. yes for new jersey it's open so okay, do it okay. dab is going to not only be a prolific Mind behind the camera taking pictures, but also critiquing the motion picture and making the music industry better. Shout out to him. We got Tommy Guns. Drop it one more time for everybody. It's your boy Tommy Guns, <laughs> goodfellastv.com. DJ Tommy Guns on Instagram, YouTube, and all that good stuff. You already know what it is. Oh, my bad. I, I'm about to plug one thing. My, my Facebook group, man. Yo, AEP presents First Thoughts. Oh, yeah. Facebook word. group. Word. Yeah, we talk about all hit Ooh, like. Everything. Movies, hip hop, yeah. you know, it's just a free throw, it's mad yeah. fun. You know, we do a lot of stuff that, you know, inspires communication, thought, like it's, it's a family over there. And, and what does AEP stand for? AEP stands for An Eclectic Perspective. Mm. Right, right, right. But no, we no. shorten that. Yeah, man, yeah, that, right. you know, that that that's that name is dear to my heart. And if you look up the word eclectic, it, it fits me, man. It's, it's just a it's, it's just a little bit of everything. And if you can spell that. eclectic, we'll give you $20 right now. <laughs> 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 it sounds like, it sounds like Y'all two gentlemen need to come on to the Mike Council one day and spar off because the Mike Council is our version of the View uh-huh. on Roundtable TV okay. where we have oh. topics and people just. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we That's right. Yeah, Yo, you just tell us when and when. Yeah, we can get that on schedule. That's one. Yeah. Thir- it's, it's, it's one Thursday every, per month. You know, we just do okay. it one a month. And then at the end, one of my best friends in life with the Goodfellas TV shirt. This is Big A, who's also the voice behind the Big A show. Mm-hmm. Drop it. Let them know. Um, you can find me on the net at Adiar, A-H-D-A-Y-A-R. Um, I do podcasting, and um, I'm yeah. always a helping hand. You know, You're a voiceover talent. Well, I mean, I do everything. You know, I, I hate to say it like that, but I do everything to help out. Like, when we met, that's how we met. Like, he was promoting his party, and I was like, well, how can I help you? You know what I mean? He was like, well, what do you do? And I'm like, well, I'm a graphics, graphics student, and... We just build off from there. And then I was like, oh, I could do that. And you need somebody help promote, and I could do promotions too. So, and, you know what I mean? I'm many, many times like my man, Mr. Eclectic over here. <laughs> so, last two questions. And this is for one each and then the collective. The last question, um, last two questions are as follows 
what is hip hop and how will you evolve it? Who answers which question? Oh, everybody answers that one. Oh, all right. All right. Hip hop to me, growing up was it was culture. Mm. Like it was the culture that I grew up in. You know, um, it influenced. You know, kind of the way the way I dressed. You know, a lot of times the you know how we how we spoke, how we you know the, like we used to freestyle and stuff. Like mm -hmm. it influenced a lot of that. So you can't separate that from who. You know, I am like I, I I wouldn't be who I am, and I wouldn't have like the interactions that I have. I speak the way I speak if I didn't grow up listening to certain artists, so I didn't grow up in the culture that I'm in. Like you know, I wouldn't have become a rapper. I wouldn't. Have. So for me, at this point, pushing hip hop forward is visually mm. just just elevating the the genre itself past. You know, hopefully above some of the just like you know some of the destructive patterns I see. Like like I said, like yo, know, every picture, you know, you don't have to do this. Like even if you could be the like you know the richest dude in the world, you don't have to pose with a bench. Like everybody does that. Uh -huh. You can be the hottest dude in the world. Like we ain't gotta pose. You know what I'm saying? What about here, the money everybody. phone, like with the dollar bill? Yeah, like, yeah, I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, like, like I said, oh, man, everybody man. does that. So, nah, so my, my, my thing with hip hop is, like, visually, how can I help you take what you take what you are right now and and and, and make it more? Let's, let's turn what you do, and like I said, my, my, my tagline for my business is turning everyday adventures into art. Mm. Let's, let's take what you do and let's, let's make it art. Let's not, let's take it where you are. Let's make it art. Mm. I'll just say, uh, I, feel, I feel like it's a culture, like, while accurate, I feel like that's also generic. With me, my own personal experience is hip hop was the vibe to my life, yo. Like, every time I took no, every time I got no as an answer, I was like, man, fuck that. I'm gonna do it anyway. That's because of hip hop. Whether it was being able to listen to rap music or, when I was trying to get up at a record label and everybody was like, nah, except one label or whatever doors we need to get into, like, that was hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I know it's like, yo, hip hop saved my life. It's, you know, generic, but <laughs> nah, man, we, we're here because of hip hop, you know what I mean? It's how we dress, yeah. how we, you know what I mean? Like, the success of my life comes from that vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, hip hop in the truest element, whether it's, I said, whether it's music, photography, radio, it's, a vibe of being like, nah, I trust my vision and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to bring it to the world. So me, I, I feel like I, I need to be a caretaker for that vibe. So whether, like I said, whether you're doing photography or whether you break dance or you know, you're a painter, like if I can help cultivate that talent in you or just preserve it for the next generation, that's my job. You know, I guess my job is to bring it to you the way a long time ago somebody brought it to me and it helped me, it changed my life. So hip hop culture, vibe, way of life, in my, you know, to me. Wow, that's, first of all, I said that was a heavy question because right. I'm sitting here thinking about answering it while everybody else saying their own thing and try to be different. So, you know, I know growing up, just in general, um, music is the sound that connects at the world. Um, everybody in, in every culture, whether it's indigenous or mainstream, always has some type of music. And hip hip hop having its own song, sound, genre, um, connects people who normally wouldn't have been connected. Um, for an example, I remember seeing a, uh, a video of when Wu-Tang came out and you had people over in China who couldn't speak English, mm. who, can, who can literally ver verbatim say the lyrics from Wu-Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. Like, you something you wouldn't believe that they can do and may not can speak English correctly, but knew those lyrics to, to the, the song and it meant something to them. It wasn't just something that they were reciting because, you know, it felt good, but it, it, they were proud to say something like that. And I say that because hip hop is something that has grown just from like the backyards, from Melly Mel, you know what I mean? To guys, you know, doing it back in the 70s on a bop to really doing it evolve to what we listen to now, where you got guys singing literally melodies on, on rap, right? And some people may not like it, but it's still technically hip hop. And um, the evolution of it all is just that 
you know, it still connects everybody together. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel like, it, how it's grown with me. Like, it's, it's grown where you have the generational gaps, but everybody still can come together on their views and how they feel about hip hop. You know what I mean? How it makes them feel. And I say hip hop is something that even taught people um, different languages and understanding words or phrases like double entendres and, and things like that. You know, it educated people as well as spread yeah. its um its own um vibe out. You know, I mean that's what hip hop is to me. Okay, so the final question for this interview, once again we thank y'all for coming through, is one day you're not gonna be here. Mm -hmm. And a thousand years from now, when they unearth Goodfellas TV, wow. what is the legacy that Goodfellas TV made that influenced the world and made it better because Goodfellas TV existed? Mm. Mm, wow. Did you write that question down? <laughs> no, uh, I, just had, I just had to ask. All right, all right. Who want to go first? I mean, like I said, <clears throat> for. For me, as a photographer, they unearthed that. I just want them to see what I produced. You know, somebody found my Instagram page somehow, and you know, <laughs> not here. Like, yeah. I want someone to look at that and be like, yo, like, mm. like, yo, this, whatever this dude was, like, he was serious about what he was doing. Because, yo, these pictures are fire. You know what I mean? Like, take off the time capsule, like, yo. What he did was fire. Like he may not have made millions and millions of dollars, but you could tell that, you know, when he picked up that camera, like, uh -huh. yo, he loved shooting that. He loved shooting it. You know what I mean? And then I think if you can do that, that inspires anybody to follow like something they love if they see somebody doing something with like passion. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> he brought mom with passion, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted, you know what I mean? Like, to, to, yeah, you know, I mean, that, I, I think that's dope, yo. Like, on the one hand, uh, inspiring the next generation. Like, like pa, I remember Pac had a quote. He was like, I might not be the dude to change the world, but I guarantee you I'll spark the brain of the cat who will. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of it, you know what I mean? You know, like, yo, if. I can just help inspire the next generation in some form of fashion through any of the art that we've either created or, um, you know, just brought to the masses, then that's dope. We did our job, you know? Like, you know, we, we just want to show you, yo, this this thing, that this this, the, this is the vibe right here. This is this is art. You take it and do what you will with it. You know what I mean? It's art. It's like a flame, you know what I mean? We'll continue to pass, you know what I mean? Keep the flame burning. You know, a thousand years from now, Yo, they unearth, unearth little guns and <laughs> hey, what up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that, that, that's, little that's, guns. that's all we that's all we can do, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? our, our job is on one hand to document what's going on, on the other hand, yo, just continue to inspire. And we can do that, we did our job. Yo, legacy is a strong word, so yeah, like, damn, yo, like, you gonna ask questions. You gonna get these questions you come to here. Just have right. Um, legacy is very important. So for for me personally, like my legacy, I want to be remembered as somebody at least did, did something to help somebody. You know, remember that somebody did something positive um, in the world rather than negative. Because you have so much negativity going on all the time around us, no matter who you are, or your class, or social, or financial. So being known as somebody who did something at least to help people, and knowing that the Goodfellas did something as far as helping hip hop helping the culture, or helping just general generalized people on a come up. You know, there's been plenty of people we did um, promotions for that may not have uh, appreciated us, but we see them on a come up, you know what I mean? And being remembered that we did something that meant something is more important than anything else as far as legacy wise. Because, you know, Thomas Edison is remembered because he did something. You know what I mean? He stole, he stole a shit. black man's he stole some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, he did something. He, he remembers something, all right? It was, it was Howard Lewis Lattimore, if you want to talk what they're they, they talking about, but be technically. But um, but just like Nikola Tesla, like he did, he did something, and, it, and he innovated his thoughts, and it influenced the people. Like he said, it sparked the minds of others to make the change. So I want, I also want to be remembered in that same context, not. Still from somebody else, though. Yeah. Well, in hip hop, it's called sampling. <laughs> so, for everybody out there, for thank you for watching this, and we hope that not only that it elevated your mind, but it made you think: Are you really an artist, or are you only a participant in this game 
called Hip Hop. Mm. This is Karev signing off, and everybody out there, we like to say peace. Yeah. And we out.